so in this video we are going to discuss about the importance of seedless plant seedless plant or you can say there is a, a non spermatophyta all right so we were having the lycopodium that we have discussed the division all right and selagina we were the example of the like of sida so these both are basically what these are the both are the plants these are important in the ornamental like ornamental plant these are the ornamental plant which means that they are used for the decoration all right second we are having a ducks ducks and some other aquatic animals feeds its rhizome which is a stem all right so ducks and some other aquatic animal basically feeds its rhizome and we are having the forms which were what which were the teropsida forms are used in different purpose like some are used in the medicines for the intestinal for the removing of the intestinal parasites you can see how it's important second uh, the purpose is that other are used for the preparation of flowers and all the things all right uh, third we are having that is it these species their species are edible which means we can eat that for example uh, Pteris, we are having the Cartoparis, we are having Marsilia, we are having uh, we are having the Polypodium. They are used in the remedy of the sore throat too. And seedless plant are used in the food, shelter, fuel, medicine, coal, but they are not used for the production of the fiber. Remember that. So this was about importance. So in the next video, we are going to discuss about the next <coughs> next diversity among plant that is the uh, spermatophytes, which are the uh, seed plant. All right. So uh, we have discussed about a seedless plant, all the division cycle and all. So in the next video, we are going to discuss about the new topic, which is spermato uh, spermatophytes.